Hey guys, Harpot here. It's a video, and today I'm going to be playing KSP. This is a post commentary because I didn't really want to uh, record f uh, my voice for 40 minutes long. So I just sped up this video by two times. As you saw in the beginning, there's that picture. That was a picture I was using to uh, copy onto here. And so, yeah. This is a. Uh, I started making it, but then I realized I should record it because I haven't put a video up in a while. And, um, my excuse is, uh, the holidays. <laughs> I didn't have, uh, much time to be doing anything else because they're too, uh, getting ready for them. Christmas, especially. Well, only. So, like, here I'm just putting the, um, stuff into action groups. And I just tested the, uh, thing outside and, like, opened up all the solar panels. So I'm just taking away, I just took away all the, uh, things holding it up. So right now I'm building the part on the um space station. Uh, I guess not. Never mind. Oh yeah, I'm putting the um docking uh things in docking ports so I can uh f if you ever want to in space you can decouple parts that you don't need or think you like if you don't want it. So yeah. Then I um. On the picture, there's like another little set of solar panels hanging off, and um, so that's what I'm trying to build now, but I realize that docking forwards can't go on uh, places where two uh, struts connect, and I accidentally just deleted something I was um, trying to build with, and I realized that in a second, and so I have to keep doing Control z to undo. See right now, I'm looking around for it, so I have to keep pressing Control Control z and it undoes everything I just did, which wasn't much. So I just do what I was doing and uh, just redo it correctly. Now I'm trying to spin it so it's uh, the things face sideways rather than like the um, solar panels face sideways rather than up and down. And I accomplish it. And um, now I'm trying to make those little solar rays coming off the sides, but I feel like, I think there's only one when I first look at the picture, so I try to only build one without taking off. Like I try to do one time symmetry, so I can only take off one side. But later in the video, I realized that there are uh, two, one on each side, which I have to fix later. So now I'm just trying to fix up the one side so it looked normal while the other side doesn't have solar panels so I can put the uh, solar array there. Seems kind of funny that the music in the background is going really fast. Adds a little extra ring to it compared to what it usually is. And um... Right there in that pause, I was just looking at the video because I have it in a different window, so I to, it only records the window I'm like actually doing stuff on, so I only record that rather than me actually looking at the picture. Okay, there I just uh, put some RCS on and put the uh, first, well, the two solar rays on. I to do two times symmetry. Okay, now I realize that when I try to put one down and I like do it in symmetry, it makes one upside down for some reason. Well, it makes one on the opposite side, not upside down. So I have to do them separately. And once I get those in, I um, action group all the solar panels in on them. the other side too. All on a uh, action one. And um now I think I'm about to uh put a probe core in on the uh solar things on a solar ray so I could uh detach them if you like if you want to you could detach them and fly them away using the Oscar B fuel tanks and the little L V one engine. So I put a little pro core on them, finding the right size of it. And there. 
stuff you want you can detach it and fly it into the ground and save that as a sub assembly and I actually just deleted it so I had to control Z it back in and redo what I just did now I used the sub assembly so I could uh, do it the same thing for the other side So yeah, put a description in, save it up, and place it back on, and then uh, place it on the other side. If you want the completed version of the International Space Station, you can go to kerbalspaceport.com and search up her pilot. And um, they're on that, but I accidentally um, clicked the upload button a couple too many times, and I can't seem to be able to delete them. I deleted like half of them, but the other half don't want to get deleted. So it looks like I spammed it, but it's really accidental. And now I'm uh, realizing that the things, the solar panels are upside down on that one and right side up on the other, so I had to flip those over. And now I put the RCS on the uh, midsection so it can fly around and dock. And um, I just look at the picture to see what kind of uh, stuff there is. And you see those little uh, things on the bottom that you can attach to? That was just a glitch, so I just restart it to get those away, which ends up working. And there. So now I got the top half completed. Now I'm looking at the picture to see what to do next. And um, now I'm going to make the lower section, which has the... Uh, another set of solar panels and an escape pod so this time it gets a little thinner and I think I put four of these on and then a docking port on both sides to put the solar array on I'm trying to figure out which is the better size for it and I just take the big ones because they actually fit most of it pretty well now I look at the picture to see how it looks and I put another to dock it. And I'm about to put um, some Oscar B fuel tanks on, but I realized that I don't have any xenon gas in it, so I try that instead. Because they're the same size, but I already have tons of fuel, so I decided to take all the Oscar Bs out and put a, uh, the xenon tanks in. copy and uh, just keep copying them and placing them which is you hold alt and then you click on the one that you want to start the copy on and then you just then it copies all the rest after it and then you just place it and just keep doing it um, now I believe I open up my solar array I'm not sure if I reuse my solar array or not Oh yeah, now I realize that the uh, solar rays were on the bottom, not the top, or not the side, so I fixed that. There, you can see them hanging down now. And I also realized that there's four instead of two in the uh, actual space station. So I just make a little uh, sub-assembly with those so I don't have to copy and paste them around. So I just do four times symmetry. And now I just move the docking ports. And, um... I forget if I put a uh, probe core on them. Actually, probably not, because they're all connected to the main thing. I take off the side docking ports because you can't use them for anything because they're too close together. It's just the top and bottom. I might take the bottom ones out because you can't really use them for anything. Put the big docking ports on the side so you can dock a big thing to it. Now, uh, reference back to the picture. And referencing to the picture again, because I'm not sure how the it should look, and I realize I should use my solar. Uh, I previously built solar arrays.
put them on the sides. Um, and then I, after I put them on the sides, I checked to make sure both the solar panels are facing the same way. Which I believe they are. I can't tell from this view. Okay. They replaced that um, fuel tank with a crew module so they can hold more people than just, I think, one can stay in the cupola module. Then I put uh, docking ports down there so you can uh, dock down there rather than just uh, fuel. Plus, it extends it a bit. The real International Space Station is as long as a football field, so uh, try to get as uh, close to that as possible. Okay, now I work on these and put some, uh, because I realize that they're tilted rather than straight. Fix that. The radioscopic, uh, something generators. Um, I'm referencing back to the picture. Whenever there's a pause, just when you don't look at the picture. I probably said that earlier. Extend that out a little bit. And oh yeah, solar panels up down there. And then I think I'm going to make it a pull extender thing on there. Um, uh, what's it called? Not an extender. Oh yeah, um, a, not an extender, it's a module, it's the skate pod I was talking about earlier, with just enough fuel to deal with it. And then I have placed some parachutes on so you can uh, take it home. But I also uh, take off the fuel tank and put some uh, big docking ports on it so you can um, undock it when you're floating down so you have less weight to carry. So it uh, increases the chance of you surviving. And uh, I don't make it a decoupler because if you accidentally press space while you're in the um, International Space Station while it's in space, it'll decouple that. So it'll just make it so you don't accidentally decouple it. And have a just random capsule at the end. And I'm making sure that the ladders weren't covered on the capsule so they can get in and out. Just looking at it just to make sure everything looks right. After seeing the picture, just make sure it all looks correct. Um, but then I realized that I think I should have the, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, solar panels on that because in the um, picture, the thing on the bottom has solar panels, so I try to make it look as real as possible. Now I'm gonna try to test it outside, but I uh, realize this isn't gonna work because of the fact how heavy it is. Oh yeah. I end up just uh, hacking gravity. So um, I'm still believing that I can uh, keep this up with just the uh, strut things, the um, launch clamps. So I try to test it, of course, and then I realize that it fails because it's way too heavy way too heavy for those launch clamps <laughs> can't even stay up straight and I just uh, decided to take everything off I realized I only had one time symmetry on that one on the end so that didn't help <laughs> okay just save it to make sure hack gravity 
Attack gravity, okay. And now, the Majestic International Space Station. And I uh, press 1 to open up all my solar panels, but I realize, uh, for some reason, some didn't open. I, um, so I just have to open them manually. So I just wanted to see what they all look like together. The, you can see the ones hanging down off the bottom. <laughs> and now I uh, t decided to try and fly it with the uh, little Oscar B engines. And I uh, start going, but for some reason the uh, solar panels didn't really like that. <laughs> they uh, decide to explode. I don't know why, because they aren't, weren't in gravity, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, and there's that big uh, watermark in the top right. Um, I apologize for that. I uh, thought it was going to be a bit smaller when I recorded that. So I'll probably take that out. <laughs> There's like a little corner watermark in the bottom. It's a hurt pilot rather than the symbol. So yeah, just uh, fixing all the action groups before I uh, say goodbye. And Jebediah Kerman flying it. So just a little uh, walkthrough so you can see it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like all the videos. And like or favorite my video, please. Thank you.